I am almost finished with Eartha Kitt's autobiography. By this time um, in the book, she has had a few love affairs, um, but she has not yet gotten uh, married or had kids, and she wanted to. And in the 1960s, early 1960s, this man named Bill McDonald was pursuing her. So this is Bill McDonald. They do eventually get married. Bill McDonald is down here on the right-hand side, and up in the corner, top corner, is when they got married. He pursued her. He knew who she was. She was at the, the, you know, the pinnacle. She was famous. She was a singer, actress, wealthy. She had businesses. They got married. They had a kid. Um, she wasn't really feeling him that much, but he did pursue her and she basically kind of relented and got with him. And she thought that after having kids, the warm and fuzzy feelings that come along with it would come. Well, they did not. So let's talk about what happened towards the end. Reading these top two paragraphs took the wind out of my belly. I let out an audible gasp. So this is called Breaking with Bill. After Kit's birth, Kit is their child, her only daughter. After Kit's birth, the warm, caring relationship that I hoped would develop between me and Bill didn't happen. He seemed to resent me working and having independence and strong opinions. Why had he begged to come into my life in the first place? To punish? To put down? To deplete my um, ability to do things for myself? I bided my time, waited to see what would happen, wishing things would, could be stable for Kit's sake and also for the sake of Mother McDonald, who I was now very close to. Finally, I knew there was no longer any point in trying to make things work out when I found out that Bill had sold my New York apartment buildings without my knowledge. In his role as my accountant, he had the legal right to do this, but I was shocked that he would do so and not tell me, knowing how much they meant to me and how long it had taken me to buy them all. Imagine the betrayal. He was basically trying to take away her independence. So this was the point that she knew that things were irrevocably broken, that things could not be fixed. I'm stuttering over my words there, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Imagine getting with a man who knew who you were, knew you were a strong-willed person, successful in your own right, built up everything that you had, and then this man basically be jealous and want to strip a little piece of you away. Imagine how that would make you feel as a married woman. And this is the point of no return for her. You guys go ahead, jump in the comments, tell me what you think, like, comment, share.